蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦蹦，哎，停停停了。What's up, everyone? This is Yeager here, a member of Path. And as we live in the information age, technologies like artificial intelligence or 5G communications are advancing, and everybody is talking about robots entering our lives. And that's why today I'm visiting the world's top high-tech conference, which is called World Robot Conference 2022, to find out about the latest trends of robots. Let's get started. Now we arrived at the Yichuang International Exhibition Center, and here we can find all kinds of robotic products. Like back uh, in other years, it were divided into the different、um, kinds of robots, but now it's divided according to the industry that robots would be used. For example, we can see like in education or medical care or shipment, etc. And I can see really cool robot over there, Einstein. This is really interesting because we can see the robot of the Einstein, and he's explaining why people would gather here, that would exchange their information and knowledge about robots. It's really cool. Just see how his facial expression is so real. So behind me, this robot that you can see over here is actually modeled after a very famous singer in China. She was as famous as Michael Jackson was famous in America, and it's like a singing robot. Like sometimes she will perform some songs from the past, and people would just see that image of her and the the, the voice, and you you know it really fools you into thinking like she is there. This is another marvel of engineering. You know how we like the the topic of the Winter Olympics. Here we've got a robot that is able to ski. Like apparently you can see how he is controlling the angle of the skis to, you know, to see where he's going. And this is just amazing. He's using the technology of the of the lasers and also the technology of the camera to understand the environment so he can go freely. So, the biggest challenge is what? You in the development stage. Actually, it's a robot that can control. 这就需要我们机器人的每一条腿，它都有一个力的感知，就是说，当有在乎的，它有感应器吗？它的每一个关节上都有力觉的一个感应器。啊，这样的话，当它碰到障碍物的时候，它这个腿会自己缩回来，像一个自呃高级的减震器一样、嗯。体育活动也可以很有科技感，也可以很有意思。嗯So、I'll、push this button, and the robot. Oh, man! It, it like pretty much mimics all of my movements. Let me try to write my name in English. You know, in the movie of Matrix, when they would have like a robotic. Costume, or like, how do you say? Like, he would go inside of a robot and control the arms. Man, it looks something like that. You see, all these dancing robots are really cute. They place a little tiger on top of them, and you know how come they're so synchronized? Well, pretty much because one program runs them all. That's why you see all the movements are precisely the same. I most like is this robot robot, and the one in front of the robot. The robot part is very important. So I am very interested in this part. I saw a robot in this part. I am very interested in this part. I saw a robot in this part. I am very interested in this part. I saw a robot in this part. I am very interested in this part. 
做咖啡的那个机器人，它是有一个呃可以拉花，然后把你的咖啡做的跟那个大咖啡大师做出来一模一样的那种。哇！还尝了一杯味道也很不错。我对印象比较深刻的领域其实是刚才的医疗领域。医疗啊。对，因为我还看到了一个呃外骨骼的机器人，其实蛮有意思的。还有一个医疗手术的机器人，它可以非常精准的应用实践到医疗的各个环节当中。嗯、今天看完这些展会之后，我觉得是改善一些工作安全性的问题。哦，怎么讲啊？就像刚才我们看那些，呃，就是在墙体外面刷漆以及清洁这些墙体的， uh-huh. 还有这挖隧道的这些，全都是在保障人们的安全，就是关注到了这些干这些危险工作的这些工人们的这个安全问题。Guys, this episode of Unside is coming to an end, and the World Robot Exhibition is actually a great platform for all the people who are passionate about robots and technology, and they gather here and they share their inspirations. And for us, we just need to come here and enjoy the hard work that they've done and all the fruits. Guys, that's it for now. I'll see you on our next episode. See you there.